Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another dream address tour for you. And please excuse my very bare and empty looking room. I'm actually in the process of moving. I was supposed to already move out, but the internet isn't working at the new place. And I'm doing streams and still making videos here, but in a very bare and empty apartment for the time being. And I just really wanted to be able to continue making video content and streams happen. But hopefully some of these problems start getting worked out soon and I'll be able to create even more videos for you and to be able to stream more in the very near future and so please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already it would go a long way in helping out the growth of this channel and enough of that let's just go ahead and get right into it so I have a really awesome DA tour for today this one comes from Sasha also known as the Oasis Island on Instagram and I'm so excited to check out her island for myself I've done a 1960s Japanese island dream tour before and I've also done a brown core dream tour before and I know Sasha actually considers her island to be a big mixture of the two as you can see in the bio of the Instagram it says by the late 1960s Japan had risen from the ashes and I just love that little statement of concept and I can't wait to see how it's executed here one last little plug is that Sasha actually has an art account where she draws maps and so here on the screen is a drawing for the map that she did for her island and she does actually take commissions for maps so if you want to get a drawing of your map done go ahead and hit her up I'll have links to both of her Instagram accounts in the description below all right so let's just go ahead and get right into it right here is the dream address so if you want to go ahead and check it out for yourself, here's the code. I'll have it in the description below and I'll meet you over there. Okay, so I just landed on the island of Oasis. It's already looking really awesome from what I'm seeing, which isn't much just yet. But maybe as you can tell from the colors of the sky right there, it's probably 5 a.m. right now on her island. And I don't know about you, but I am a huge sucker for 5 a.m. on the island. I just love the color of the sky, the music that plays with it. And before I forget, let me just go ahead and pull up the map and let's check that out. So right here we have Hereth and Neth and Octavian. We have Zucker, Pico, Genji, Marcel, Greta, Lolly, Kabuki, Raymond, and Judy. So some pretty top tier villagers if I do say so myself as well as a mix of a lot of the Japanese style villagers so I'm super excited to check this out as you can see a lot of terraforming going on here as well as a lot of pathing going on looks like a couple different residential area spots and so many lakes on this island I'm super excited to check this out so let me go ahead and make my way to the airport first and then I'll start from there all right so here I am at the airport let's just go ahead and get started right out from the entrance we just have a couple of machines a telephone booth and one of the newer items in the game right here I actually can't remember what it's called for some reason right now but just a really small entrance really rural in feel leading up right into resident services where I just was when I dreamed up but before I go past resident services I'm just gonna keep heading left from the island and it looks like we have actually some goodies here so I'm just gonna take out one of those balloons and I'll just carry this for the rest of the tour here it looks like just right on the beach just a little spot to sit and relax and I'm just gonna keep heading over from here so starting off looks like we're running into like a little bit more of an urban space over here and looks like we have almost like an antique shop or like a music shop here I love the tape recorder that's up there just like spinning just adds a lot of really cool vibe to here and okay so we have a couple different ways we can go on this street I think I'm gonna keep going left to start and right here looks like we have a little restaurant and I love this I talk about this all the time but I just love fake buildings and this one right here is super well done the thing that I'm like really loving about this one is the use of the record box up at the top there so there's the Zen fence in the middle and then to the left and right of it are those record boxes and it's using a similar code to the simple panels that are below it so it just adds this like window right there and I just haven't seen a fake building being done this way before using those record boxes as windows so we have the soba noodles there a little plate to eat off of and then there's a cart right here on the left hand side bread at the bottom the steam basket at the top so you can grab some more food this is really awesome I love this little spot right here so headed back over let's go up this street here and okay there's a couple of inclines and oh this is where one of the residential areas are so up here I'm pretty sure that's Pico's home and then right behind it I'm pretty sure that yep Raymond's house right there with this photo amazing I'm gonna head back over to the other side. I really like this use of different levels to put these resident homes here. So we have Octavian's house here and then another villager house. I'm not sure whose exactly that one is. Then right over here, it looks like a little study area or maybe like a little library here. 
This is amazing. I love this. I love the pine trees right out here too. And the cherry blossom branches just adds a lot of life to this little spot. And let me come back down and over. Okay, so we have a bakery over here. I love the design of this bread for the simple panels here. And then with the chocolate cake right there too. It's just a cozy spot where you can come sit. There's the Yule log there. A little spot over down here for some coffee, some music playing right next to it. Oh, I love these vibes. So let me just head back out of here and we'll go back down and up through here. I just love this alley right here. Yeah, I don't know exactly what it is, but I just love a good little alleyway and I love the use of the utility poles here. All these different stalls here, which I imagine are for like different vendors. I just love this view right here. So continuing on from right here, I'm just gonna head up and it looks like we can go left or right again, but right up here is a train track and I just love this little seating area right next to the train track. So going left over here, looks like we have the nooks. And back over there, I wanna see what's actually on those record boxes there. I don't wanna miss any of the details. So this is just like a little convenience store area right next to Nooks, which is super fitting. And let me just go ahead and head back over this way. Whoa, wait, I actually love this design used on the floor right here. So it's the smiley face bag. So it's like a takeout bag on the floor. I know it's technically like trash, but it looks so cool right there next to the newspapers and the cardboard boxes, some trash cans right over here. I love the use of this clutter. Love these tight little alleyways over here. And looks like we have a fish market right around here and tucked through here. Oh, and another little smiley face bag on the floor. And keep on coming down from here and whoa. Okay, so here's like the restaurant, I'm pretty sure. So it's like restaurant right here in the front. And then we have the fish market in the back. I just love the use of this space here. I don't know why, but the fan and just like the little handheld radio right there just fits so perfect in this little spot. And I'm gonna just go ahead and head back up looks like through here. So yeah, it looks like we have another really tight alleyway, a real dense urban kind of feel through here. I love this. And I love right here how even though it's like urban and dense, it still feels kind of like quiet right in this area. I think it's how slowly those paper lanterns are just like flowing and just the steam rising up and the 5 a.m. sky color. This is just perfect. It's like calm before the storm is what it feels like. So yeah, just walking through here feels incredible. I love this so much. Just love how tucked and enclosed this area actually is. This gives me a completely different feel than any other spot I've seen on the island so far. And I just love that. So let me just go ahead and head right on this road here. And so back by the train tracks, a couple other small details. We have the Rover suitcase here, some Nook Miles tickets left out, Kabuki's walking over here, and just some more like fake buildings and looks like we have a player house right here and right under it there's like a little gas station so right next to the train station is like a little gas station for a little fill up that's amazing here's a player house and i think i'll go into the houses at the end of the tour and so i know there's an incline up here so let me head up here and oh we have like a nice little zen area right here. And I love how the stairs just led right up into here. Just another really like serene, quiet feeling area here. And headed from the left, we have another huge fake building. Really love the design of this one. And I love how you can see like the store from below here too. I think that's like another player house back in the distance up there. Like if you look up where those bamboo partition is, you can see like that little frame of the house. And that just adds like a lot of extra depth to the spot. I'm really loving the sidewalk path over here. The newspaper on the scattered papers this is a great touch. And coming over here, whoa, what is this view? This is incredible. So we have a view over here. It looks like there's a bridge that we can cross back in there, but wow, just back over there, more like urban feel. I just love the use of layers through here. This is amazing. And so keep coming left. It looks like we have like another little shop here, almost like a little convenience store. And upon like looking at this a little bit closer, I just really am loving all the uses of those diner neon signs. I like the one way in the back in the middle and I love how the point is coming out of the stall. It just adds these different shapes and textures to this area and then there's another diner neon sign turned around on the right hand side and again just that point sticking out of the simple panel 
the lights kind of coming out of the left of the simple panel. It's just small little arrangements like that that I feel like add so much depth to like a building and to a little spot. I've seen a lot of fake buildings in the tours that I've done and also that I've built out myself. And this one just really doesn't look like any other one that I've ever seen before. Small details, man, just love it. And headed up from here. Oh, I actually can't squeeze back here. It doesn't look like, no problem. I'll make my way around. And okay, so right over here, looks like we can cross the bridge now. And this will take us right up into here, which is the spot we were seeing back from the view. Love how this encloses the entire space. Oh, it looks like we can light a firework right here. And yeah, this is just awesome. Love the use of the space shuttle turned around. Looks like a tower back in there. I just love the feel of this island. And yeah, closed off over here. So coming right from all of this enclosed area, it looks like we have a view back there, but also a villager house, another player house right over here. Yeah, right from this Zen viewpoint. Okay, I wanna go ahead and check out that view in one second, but on the right hand side here, based on some photos that I've seen from their Instagram account, I know that this is supposed to be like a shoe shine area and I, Love this. I mean, how accurate is this? The stool's out, there's shoes already on the stools. We have shoes on top of newspapers here and the newspaper design and the Rover suitcase, this all goes so perfectly well together. Even the old school turntable just spinning back there. I can like hear this. I feel like I picked up a history book and I'm being transported into this era. This is so spot on and I love this. So right from the shoe shine spot, just some double bridges emptying out over here and looks like we we have a nice little view of a little village right in the back. Love the little waterfall that's coming out from under the bridge too. I love how it blends in with the rocks too. So it's almost like a little mountain town that's back there. And so heading right from here, just looks like a little spot to sit. More bushes. Oh, maybe that's just another view we're supposed to see. So let me go past this bridge and let's find out if there's a way to go view that over there. Okay, I was actually running around for a little bit to figure out how to like see that view. And it actually looks like we can go back behind here. And then there's like this little cutout of space over here. And it does actually seem like if I would have gone over to like this little cemetery area that I could have just took a ladder down here, but take the hard way around, right? And right here, look at this view. This is incredible. I love like the tree houses that are over there on the right hand side. Just those doll houses just kind of situated up there. I also think one of the items up there is like the mom's pencil holder too. It just looks perfect up there. Love this spot. Just want to sit here and soak this in for a while because this right here is amazing. Just with like the lake glowing and glistening too. This is so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take a ladder up here and let's see we have a little cemetery through here and i probably missed some stuff going this way so yeah look entrance way into the cemetery from an incline before i take this incline down let me just keep heading right over here so i don't miss anything oh there's actually an incline down over here and bridge over here do not enter is this like a abandoned temple or just another fake building that's designed so well no trespassing through here obviously but looks like we can go back behind it and up through here <laughs> i feel like this island doesn't end over here it looks like we have just some farm area back in here over here we have some pumpkin patches and then just looks like a little floral shop right here that's really cool love that and let me go ahead and head up from here and we have more villager houses up through here, just tucked in through all of this greenery. And up through here, another like little flower shop. And then from right here, I think that dead ends. So let's backtrack a little bit. Okay, coming back from the like no trespassing area, looks like there's another little spot we can head up over here. And oh, okay, so this is just another way to get over to that viewpoint. But what's back over here, we have Okay, like another little like market area. And wow, again, so many of these like market alleyways, but they all feel so different. This one feels a lot more rural. I love these buildings here. Okay, down from this incline, looks like we can keep heading right and we're just going into some more forests over here we have a couple more villager houses over here again more fireworks that we can light so another villager home right here and i really love this one i love the cut bamboo i love like the little like grass design peeking out of like the bucket oh so it's like a puddle almost there this is incredible and okay looks like we're stuck can't go that way but let's head around and 
then okay we have genji's house right here and i think that just looped us all the way back yep to resident services so we just made one giant loop around the island and i feel like islands that flow like that and you can just basically take an entire loop and circle around and it flows really well like that is super underrated so i love that about this island so much oh and i missed this little spot here okay we have another villager house and yeah this is actually what i missed earlier because i took a ladder instead of using <laughs> inclines but looks like double inclines right up here and this actually leads into that cemetery so had i gone down from that cemetery double inclines here this view to get over here is actually insane i love the use of double staircases like this this is so perfect love this like slow movement of the trees this whole entire island has just felt very calm very peaceful rural at times but also really dense and urban and other times i feel like i went to three different japanese islands in just one single island felt like it never stopped too but like i said i'm gonna head over to some of the player houses and check those out because i do believe they're done so first one up i believe this is their second player yeah so let's just go ahead and check this out okay so walking in and it looks like a fish market in here and this is incredible i love that there's like these almost rusty looking fans like blowing through here it's making the yucca plant like really blow throughout here too this is beautiful love this love the different colors here looks like the back room is blocked off but i don't even care because this concept is incredible and i love that you can walk through it all sometimes it's really hard to figure out like the spacing of these to actually be able to like go behind the bar go into the restaurant so this is incredibly well done and so actually the back the left and the right room are blocked off and i even did go up to the upstairs just to go ahead and check it out and it doesn't seem like it's done there either so i'm not going to show it in the video and so the other player house is actually up and tucked behind this building and I went in for a second and it did not seem complete so I'm not going to show it off for this video but if you want to check it out for yourself like I said in the description I'll have the dream address if you do want to go ahead and check out this island for yourself and so that's going to do it for this island tour and I just love the feel of this island love the vibes love how we went from urban and dense to then rural and small town. And of course, I just love this little perspective view back in here. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it would go such a long way in helping out the growth of this channel. And as always, huge shout out to my channel members. It's because of you all and the continued support that you show that I can continue to create content like this on this channel. If you wanna become a channel member, just hit that join button next to the subscribe. There's also a link in the description if you don't see it. Stay safe out there, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.